Kolo Akakayaka, Kako Kapana Oyo Gomes, Ko Uino. I'm here to tell you guys that, uh, so I'm here to speak on the emergency proclamation, but I'm also here to speak about uh, the governor speaking of opening tourism on October 8th. I also agree with benchmarks that Kyrie was speaking of. I believe there's things we need to do in order for it to be all right. You know, I've I've been boots to the ground since the last fire, the last line of strong fire. You know, I was there as a volunteer also, and I got to see like how the recovery process, you know, how you see through it, and it comes to rebuilding, you know, and it comes through like coming together as a community and healing with each other and, um, you know, really feeling for each other coming uh, coming back. And I don't, I don't believe right now where we're at, uh, I don't believe we're even near that that area. I've come across problems that 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 are like just on different ranges of issues. Some people, you know, have 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 less trouble that they're going through right now, and we got people who are going through immense trouble. I know people who lost like someone that they're luckily, you know, you know, I believe there was only two people that I knew personally that lost their lives. It still hurts, you know. I've been going through like uh, Tourette's of crying and stuff like that. But I've also been an election official here. You know, I've been a supporter of candidates who, who run for office here and stuff like that. And all I can ask from you guys is to make good, wise decisions. You know what I mean? Ultimately, even though if you're not a representative of Lahaina, the decisions you make that can that, that can affect Lahaina, you know, you guys got to kind of, I believe right now there's civil unrest going on or else a lot of us wouldn't be here right now. You know what I'm saying? So we have to we have to make sure even the decisions that we make are pono ultimately. And I don't know, I honestly I don't know what the governor has got planned, how he's gonna help us or anything like that. But I can reiterate um uh, someone who's in charge of the Puuhonua or Honokawai, he said no government officials were really there to assist them there, you know. And ultimately they need things like water supply and stuff like that. They have a needs list that needs to be met. You know, they're helping to feed and house some people at times in that place. You know, so ultimately they can't be here. They're just too busy trying to live an everyday life and get into this tragedy. So, uh, you know, I like to come over here and speak for them, you know, because they wish they can be here, but they cannot. This tragedy has united us as an island ultimately, you know, to, to see like how we can help also, you know, and I believe it's divided us also. And we got to figure out one way to make decisions. I believe you guys have the, have the power to do it by making decisions that will help to provide and help to bring us together. And I can't tell you what it is, you know, and I, I don't know the intricacies of it all, but, you know, I, I voted for a majority of you guys, you know. And, uh, he says man, you know, you know I, all I like to say is I pray argue. that you guys make pono choices and pono decisions and all that, that you guys need to do in the future. You know, this is for line. I'm a, I'm a class of 98 graduate of Lion Aluna High School. You know, there's people who've, who've passed, you know, and, and I think of them like who've passed before this fire, you know. What would they have to say about this, you know? What would what would they want to do about this, you know? And, and I just pray that you guys, you know, I, I pray for you guys that you guys are blessed and you guys are safe and you guys help to be made uh, wise decisions and all of this. And that's all I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Members, questions for Kamala. Mahalo.